Hi, hi and welcome. This is Marianne with Akashic Inspirations. And this is going to be the weekly reading for Scorpio for the week of April 10th through the 16th. And this week we continue to use our Fairy Tarot cards by Doreen Virtue and Radley Valentine. And we will be using also a card from the Enchanted Map by Colette Baron Reed as an assistant. So this week we're coming off the new moon energies of Aries. And wow, 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 you're probably still in that flow, still in being inspired, being creative, um, having those energies, you know, flow you forward. And um, so with that said, I am starting on a weekly basis to do a live stream on Facebook at 7.30 p.m. on Saturdays. So I hope that you join me for those. There were lots of fun, lots of readings and good things and uh, lots of sharing of energy. So really very, very nice. I am enjoying it immensely. Um, so thank you for everybody who has liked, subscribed and commented on my videos. And if you wish to have a personal reading, a private reading, you can go to AkashicInspirations.com. I am accepting, uh, I do have some space for next week for private uh, readings. So, let's see. With that said, I ask my angels and guides to bring in the energies for Scorpio for the week of April 10th to the 16th. And to help us understand what the messages of love from Spirit are for us. And we got three already, so... And they are <laughs> all swords. Very interesting. Okay, but we got five of swords, three of swords, and the king of swords. How do I want to look at this? This is, we are leaving things behind. And it says, walk, walk, walk away from dishonest associations. Okay. So what I've been getting lately is that um, with these energies, that as we ascend into the higher energies and, we, and the higher energies become uh, rooted into Mother Earth, that we really uh, can no longer abide uh, illusions in our life, dramas, or situations that are purely based on false on falsities, on things that are not true, on, on illusions. And we're, we're seeing through these things. We're seeing through to get to the truth. And I think that's what this is. It's seeing through and just walking away from those things um, that you already know um, are not in your highest good. And there, it may be it may be painful, it may be difficult because that's the three of swords. There, there's that period of mourning or loss or grief, but it's because we are afraid of the change and we are afraid of accepting the new to come in. So in order to allow this new to really fully be embraced in our lives, we have to make the space for it. And that means cutting the cord. So you can call in Archangel Michael, call in your guides and your spirit animals to assist you in breaking the cords from your... Uh, disappointment from your frustrations and from your hurts and pains that have been generated through past relationships. So if if we work with the King of Winter, who is this older gentleman, very white beard, and we ask him to to work with our higher selves and for us to be able to tap into our wisdom, right? And tap into our knowledge. And it's a sphere minded. So get advice. So get advice from your higher self. Get advice from someone else, maybe a professional, um, if that's necessary or whatever the case may be. Or just maybe somebody who knows you really, really well um, can help guide you. Because sometimes we can't see the forest for the trees. So we are, you know, we're stuck in something and not able to see it because this winter it seems that you're really, it's all about the thoughts this week, All right, For you, it's really about releasing those thoughts, your own self-talk, your own thoughts of um, failure or uh, disease or things that you are unable to have or lack, sense of lack, all of those things need to be released from your from your being, from your life, from your speech, from your words, um, and ask to be guided towards meditations or affirmations, something that will be building you on a stronger foundation, not just the wispy air element, uh, which doesn't really serve you very well. 
Um, we know that Scorpios like to go into very deeper meanings of things. So um, perhaps seek your higher self to assist you with that. So we ask, go look at the enchanted map and see what card wants to come in for us to help guide us in these thoughts and how to uh, to change our point of view. <laughs> and the way we do that is through allowing ourselves to to experience joy. Um, maybe it's just get out of your head, it, you know, just get away from these thoughts and do something that makes you happy. And that's really what they want you to do. And this is what these readings have been about this week is really focusing on what makes you joyful. If, if the situation doesn't make you joy, guess what? Bye-bye. It's time to go. <laughs> right? It's time to leave that situation, whether it be a job or a person or a relationship or just the the self abuse that we give ourselves through our 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 mental uh, judgments of ourselves and others. And so, by entering into this master number of thirty three with the peaks of joy, I thought I'd just read you the affirmation uh, that goes with this. So, let me just see what it says here. I can give that to you. It says, "Your life is filled with happiness." Uh, so share it with others. It says, joy is yours. No matter what your inquiry, you will be happy with the results. You're coming closer to a sense of achievement and you've worked hard. So you surround yourself by true companions and the events that are synchronistically arranged to bring you the next level of your life. So let gratitude fill your heart and release these emotions and just replace these <laughs> with those of joy. Okay, say so I'm done with this. I'm turning to my joy and really focus on what it is that you feel is, is right for you, right? And then go with your heart and your intuition as to, you know, what's going to be coming about for you. So I hope you enjoyed the reading today, Scorpio, um, and look forward to next week's reading as well as the monthly Love to Row reading for May should be coming out soon. And I look forward to sharing with you on Facebook and on my particular new journeys and expansions. So namaste and have a wonderful week.